there, but I was hoping to get Paula Graham from Zeb's General Store. You can see her pretty face. Good morning, oh, Paula. Good How morning. are you? The morning glory. <laughs> yes, I'm morning glory. Good morning, morning um, glory. So good to see you. It's been a little while, but you guys have been so busy over there. Oh. And you're just saying we've been feeding the masses because at Zeb's General Store, it's not just your average shopping experience. You get in there, thousands of products. It's all high quality stuff. It's not like, right. you know, I want to say like one of those, you know, bargain basement places oh, that you see. But yeah. this place, you can get tasty stuff great gift giving stuff because exactly. you guys have done your research so I can go in there pretty much be rest assured I'm getting something right. of quality. And you can come in and get fed when we're sampling. Yes, which is today. a lot this week. Today we have uh, Wayne uh, Tui from Q Culture in Hollis, Maine and he does these barbecue sauces. I just brought the gift pack so I wouldn't have to take a bunch of oh loose bottles gosh. clanking in my basket. Right. And he's coming in with like 100 pounds of pulled pork today, and you can oh, sample all of his How long can I stay there? Sauces. <laughs> oh. How much pulled pork can I eat? <laughs> you know, they've, they've had competitions, the customers Oh, have. gosh. Oh, my you goodness. Know. Well, this is, looks like good stuff. So there's all different flavors. We're looking at Alabama barbecue sauce and black... What? Black, black jade. jade. That's a coffee base. It's more of a marinade for Velvety tough steaks black. that you want to grill. Mmm, that sounds good. And then we also have the regular barbecue sauce. They have a North Carolina vinegar, which sounds fantastic, in a mild Texas style. Yeah. Oh, wasabi ginger. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's got a couple of others that, that didn't chicken? fit there. I don't know. I don't like wasabi. Oh. Wasabi doesn't like me. Yeah. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> but he learned his, he's a, he's a New England boy, Red Sox Nation, and he learned from his father-in-law. He, he learned barbecue from his father-in-law. Ah, very cool. So he comes in and he's one of the favorite vendors because he's just so personable with people and yeah. they just love him. And Q, Q Culture, what's that from? Do you know what the name's from? Barbecue. Oh. Barbecue That's culture. Easy yeah. yeah. Barbecue. It's early. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you got to lead me by the hand, Paula. <laughs> All right, so he'll be in the shop today. He'll be today. I okay. think he'll be there at 1231 o'clock. All right. He got snowed out Sunday. Well, snowed in Sunday. Snowed in Sunday. Yeah. Well, we're hoping for another snow day tomorrow. Right. All right. So, and also, we've been doing our soups. All week, well, last you've already weekend. sold one of those to me because, yeah, these the, soups look tremendous. It's exactly what I need tonight. The chicken pasta Let's, and veggie is a new grab? one. Sure, it's a new soup from Bountiful Pantry. Now, this is what re uh, Paula recommended, this flavor, the chicken soup, the veggies, and pasta. And you said it's pretty easy to make because I was thinking I'd throw it in the crock pot, but you say not necessary. No, it's, it, you take your um, four cups of broth and four cups of water, or if you don't have broth, get a couple of bouillon cubes okay. and put it in there. Bring the liquid to a boil, throw that in. There's three cellophane wrap packets in mm -hmm. there and just throw them in, bring it back to a boil, turn it to a simmer for about a half an hour put your chicken in. And you say this makes about 12 cups. 12 cups. Now, if I want to bulk that up, I can probably just add some more pasta of right, my own. Right, right. And maybe some frozen peas or something. Uh, free peas or corn, um, okay. more chicken. So if I have, like, the masses to feed at, yeah. at home, if I want mm -hmm. leftovers, that would be a great idea. And these range, uh, they're just under $8, so that's quite affordable for a dinner yeah. for, you know, me and the family. So pretty pumped about yeah. that. You're going to have to wrestle this out of my hands. And okay. this here is a <laughs> corn chowder. Corn chowder. That's a very... Um, this looks like a spicy mix of corn chowder. It's really with all not. The red stuff up here. Got it. Carrots, I believe. Oh, I believe okay, it's so carrots. dehydrated carrots. Yeah. Okay, so country corn chowder. That looks. That's so, one I'm of our so top-selling soups. We've had that for a long time. But the chicken veggie pasta is a new flavor, as is the potato leek. Potato leek. Now, this I'm just thinking gift basket the whole way. One of oh, each yeah. flavor would be fantastic. Yeah. And you guys can do that on the spot. We can do that right there for you. Okay, and what's the final flavor? And, and then we have Italian bean soup. Italian bean. Nice. How long does this take? Because that takes you, have to you know, got a pre-soak, right? or you know, you can do a quick soak by boiling it for two hours or, or something. A quick thing. soak for two hours. I soak it over nice, <laughs> and then do a quick soak. Bring it to a okay. boil for like. Or 20 you can minutes. do slow cooker with this one if yeah. you can't man it. So, uh, six to eight hours on low, three to four on high is typical slow cooker. Yeah. will do. So that's Italian a good one. Add, add some that. add some sausage to it. Italian Great sausage. Ski. That's and the, ch the corn and the potato leek because Lent starts today for Christians. It's the uh, Ash Wednesday. This is Lent and for meatless meals. So how it long works. do you have to go meatless for Lent? Oh, y y not every day. Not every no, day. No, it's usually just Fridays. Oh, just, just a okay. fasted absence. Like for just during just like till two Easter. Weeks? Till Easter. Till okay. six weeks. All right. I know because I'm flying back in from Europe on Easter Sunday. What? You are? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we'll have to talk about yeah. that in just a little bit. Okay, but okay so, so Vito Marcello. Vito Marcello is because you're skiing and you're exhausted, and when you get home, you just say, oh, what do I give the kids? Well, what's better than Vito Marcello's pasta sauce? 
And we also have some yes. linguinis. Now, is there a different? I see Sunday sauce listed here. Yes, the Sunday sauce. Ha um, is that what you have? That has meat in it. Oh, okay. And here so is none the for you. <laughs> tomato ba basil marinara. Okay. Okay. Yummy. And then the Fra Diablo. It's got a little more heat to it. Oh, okay. From the devil. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Okay. If I got Sorry. it wrong, Vito. <laughs> Sorry. All and, right, you know the pasta. pasta. You know this is the pasta. This is a nice little pasta with oh, yeah. olive oil. Like we put these great. in gift baskets. Yeah, People love them. When they make gift baskets, they quite often pick that. This is the angel hair variety, and they yeah. come with a little extra little virgin oil. olive oil. Yeah. Now, olive oils. There's quite a range in olive oils. Do you carry many in the shop? Not an awful lot. Okay. <laughs> and what would be the best, say, for like a sauté versus a marinade? Do you know the difference? I can't so remember. So you want to use it extra light virgin. Okay. Um, just marinade, regular. Okay, regular, great. Regular grade. And for the kids, if they're not crazy about the angel hairs and the gourmet pastas, we have little pastas to make them happy. We have bears and moose that come Aww. in from the woods. Oh, this would and be great to get them. we have meat. ABCs. ABC pastas. ABC pastas. So you can get a little educational. You can. Make some words like yeah. eat. Yeah. Eat your food, kid. <laughs> Please and thank you, Mom. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Magic word. So tonight, you know, you get home after skiing, after sh shopping, whatever. The sauce, the pasta, I strongly, ex you know, s suggest a glass of wine. And, you know. <laughs> well, I'm coming over to your house, relax. Paul, because this sounds so festive. And you're such a good cook. I was uh, promoing you yesterday that you were going to be on the show. And I was so excited because you just start, like, these things that come out of your mouth, like kielbasa with the spicy barbecue sauce and all these great recipes, you should really do a cookbook. We had one in the store for no, a while. No, you, you. Oh, yeah, you should, oh. because you have such a knowledge of all this great basic stuff that you turn into you know, meals that you can be proud of, because everyone's looking for that everyday meal. And you, actually, you just showed up with one for me, because I'm totally going to do that chicken soup tonight with the veggies and pasta. Mm. So thank you so much. Well, it's welcome. always a pleasure. You guys can find Zeb's right on Main Street. And again, they're doing a demo today with the Q Culture Barbecue. Right. Uh, what's the gentleman's name again? Wayne Tui. Wayne Tui. And he's going to be on hand with pulled pork and barbecue sauce. Can't right. go wrong with that. You can't. But I have a watch and win question. What? what? Are you giving something away? Yes, I am. What you giving? Don't give away the chicken soup. No. Okay. I'm giving away <laughs> Vito's Wait. sauces all, all and the them? pasta. All three? All three and the pasta. Wow. Okay. Well, so okay. all three and the pasta. Uh, so you have a question. I have a question. This past year, the one that just closed at the end of 2014, what was our highest, most highest selling product in Zeb's? Most highest selling? The highest selling product in <laughs> okay. Zeb's. The highest selling I'll product I'll give you a hint. Years ago, for years, it's been those little $1, 8 ounce Cokes. Okay, it's in the glass this bottles? Year, it got bumped. Really? Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for the new product. The same rules apply one win per 30 days per household. Your answer must match Paula's answer, even if she's incorrect. And you must pick up your prize. Do you want to pick up here or at Zeb's? Oh, here's fine. Okay, pick up here at 30 days or fewer. Okay, so we're going to go to the phones. 356 6619. We're giving away three jars of Vito's sauce as well as in the woods pasta with bears and moose. So pretty cool. Let's go to the phones. Bring a shopping bag because I forgot one. It came bag. in my basket. <laughs> yeah, bring a bag. All right. Good morning, Carla. You're the first to get through. What is your guess? Popcorn. Popcorn. Is popcorn? What kind of popcorn? Oh, oh, you're on the right track, I think. You're on the what right track. What kind of popcorn? Kettle corn. Kettle corn, yes. Yeah. Zeb's kettle corn this year. Wow, yep. Zeb's, well, congratulations. <laughs> you just won. <laughs> what, hey, what, oh, who's that? Who's this? What's your name, sweet? Mark. Mark Strong. Mark, well, congratulations. Lauren? 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 That's a little girl, yeah. Uh, well, the, with this, okay, Lauren's Lauren. Stuff. Well, Lauren, congratulations! You just did it. Kettle corn just bumped uh, the what was it? Coke with the Coke bottle. The, the Coke eight bottles. Ounce wow! So congratulations, Lauren. You just picked up a feast for today. So hang on the line, and we're going to get all your information. Well, that was pretty cool. No, that sounds like the fix was in. I can bring that home. For them. <laughs> Why is she related to you? No, no, oh. the neighbors. I mean, they rent up here. Well, that's all right. She still yeah. wouldn't have known. Yeah. She so that's have known. totally valid. All right. So Paula, thank you so much. Well, and folks, if you like this stuff, you can find this plus thousands of items, including beautiful jewelry and New Hampshire T-shirts and all that stuff at Zeb's Journal Store. It's a couple levels, actually high, is right on Main Street in North County. Right. Just look for the yellow building and Paula's. <laughs> 
lovely yellow apron, which I'm sure we all wear them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can find those if you need help in the store. So, Paula, thanks again. All right, folks, we'll be back. We have more watching when we also have weather and another look at the event calendar. I'm here at Zeb's General Store Gift Basket Station, where Zeb's has been creating gift baskets for over 20 years using products from its many New England suppliers. Now, I know you have a lot of choices when it comes to selecting whom to use for your gift basket needs. Well, let's take a look at what you get from Zeb's in comparison to some leading online suppliers. As a comparison, here's a very nice arrangement from a competitor. The cost is $50, nice tin, and probably around 15 products. Oh my, this thing is so light. That's probably because there's almost nothing in each of these packages. Now let's compare this to what you get at Zeb's for the same price. Now this is about double the weight. With Zeb's, you get products sold in the store. They could not sell a product like this or this in the store, which are half full. Now let's look at what Zeb's typically has in their baskets. For example, here is a real jar of jams, 12 ounces in size, and made by one of its longtime New England suppliers. Their cheeses are delicious cheddars from award-winning local New England cheese companies. Real maple syrup, many types of mixes, all filled to the top, I might add. I think you get my point. With a Zeb's gift basket, you get real full-size products along with a beautiful presentation. The basket products are right here in the store, a store that is famous for its huge selection of products made in New England. So now let's take a look at a Zeb's gift basket being assembled so you can see the care and attention that go into it. That sure was fast. Now look at these presentations. Beautiful baskets complete with a handwritten note. But get this, in addition to the large selection of what Zeb's calls their ready to send baskets, Zeb's will do something no other gift basket company will do. They will personalize any gift basket you want by allowing you to select the products you want in your basket, just as if you were shopping at the store. You can do this online or by calling the store. And one more thing, if you're looking for someone to handle your corporate gift basket needs, call Zeb's gift basket department. Zeb's has many corporate customers who have returned year after year because they have been so pleased with the personal attention and the quality of a gift basket from Zeb's. To get started, visit zebs.com, call Zeb's at 1-800-676-9294 or visit Zeb's in North Conway Village, New Hampshire. North of North Conway Village is a one and a half mile stretch that is home to...